When it comes to live music, most people agree that Melbourne is Australia's music capital. Venues, pubs and bars cram every corner of this vibrant city, so it comes as no surprise that within a city of live music lovers also exists an ever-growing community of record collectors. Crate digging, vinyl hunting, call it what you will, but more and more people are trading in their CDs and returning to the format of the old school, vinyl records. I went on a kind of pub crawl, hopping from one record shop to another on the hunt to find some cool wax and to talk to the faces behind some of Melbourne's coolest record shops. Let's go. I kicked off at one of my faves, although I love them more like children, Northside Records, and spoke with this chap. Hi, my name's Chris, and this is Northside Records. We're at 236 Gertrude Street, Fitzroy. Northside sort of plays music that sort of got soul. So anything, you know, from funk to soul, you know, like all the good things. But also, we have reggae and dub and uh, African music. Kicking things off Northside, I figured I'd tram it and jump on a train and head Southside to Licorice Pie. I'm Dave Reitman, you're in Licorice Pie Records here. 249 High Street, Lepran, yep, Southside. We just specialise in fact that we just vinyl only. So it's about 10,000 records on the shelf and about the same again in storage. Melbourne's music scene boasts a huge range of genres and you can find them on record right here at Missing Link. And they've just teamed up recently with Collector's Corner. Joining forces, it only means one thing, more records. Hi, I'm Nick Anderson uh, from Collector's Corner. Recently moved in to 405 Burke Street with Missing Link. Pretty good collection of sort of classic 70s rock, um, a good collection of jazz, you know. But across the board we try and have a bit of everything. My name's Christoph, I'm working at Missing Link Records down here in Burke Street. Most people recognise Missing Link as a punk specialty store. Like at the moment we're selling lots of garage rock and like sort of like the, the Aussie bands along the lines of what art records and R.O.P. Society are putting out there, massive sellers at the moment. I finished up with this chap and he was more than happy to have a chat about music and records. Hi, my name's Alec and we're in the last record store at 304 Smith Street, Collingwood. We specialise in a, a wide range of stuff, but mainly I guess what you could call roots oriented, reggae to blues to jazz to country to old timey bluegrass folk. Etc. I like to listen to vinyl and to use vinyl. Uh, I find the sound uh, is just fuller, richer, warmer, if you like. And if you've got a really good hi fi system, it's going to sound better than CD. It's a lot warmer, it's not as top. One thing I like about vinyl is that it's, um, well, especially nowadays, it's sort of the ultimate. Um, uh, compliment you can pay to an artist buy their music on vinyl because they got a bit of effort to put it on vinyl it's not cheap to put it on vinyl and if they think it's worthy to last forever and ever they put it on vinyl and if they don't then you know that says something to me that uh yeah i actually inherited uh, my dad's record collection as a kid and um, so i've always been into vinyl yeah as far as like just sitting down looking through the records Bunch of bunch of LPs, but split, split seven inches especially probably my favourite format. Yes, yeah, I've got tons of them and just spend hours just sitting there. Oh shit, look at this ring, look at this. To me, it's on a more human scale uh, than a CD. CD, you need to pull out the magnifying glass to read the line, and that's half the time where it's a record. It's just a nice, right sort of size. You get some great artwork. Just enjoy the aesthetic of vinyl. You know, you feel you're getting your money's worth. It's something tactile, and um, you know, just the size, the artwork, the uh, effort that goes into making a record um, is, is fantastic. They just feel more organic or something than you know, a, a shiny little CD, and they, I think they sound the same way. There's definitely people taking advantage of the the technology at their fingertips with um, real flash vinyl packaging, and I think it's it's definitely. I'm sure it's had an effect on why vinyl has, has taken over CDs as far as being a, a preferred format because you can see the amount of effort that goes into something like that and especially if it's a, a smallish band that are going to be 500 or 1000 copies like it's a fair bit of money to outlay to get something something as flash as those ones so. I went to some of the coolest record shops in Melbourne and I got them to share with us some of their coolest most collectible prized records. Just got in a great collection of library records now library music is music made for TV and film production. Uh, 
One of the most famous labels is this one, KPM. And uh, I got loads of KPM records. These all came from Channel 10. And this one, this actual record, I don't know if you can see this, Speed and Efficiency was used on the Prisoner soundtrack, the, uh, the Channel 10 movie. Now this record was the actual record they used to uh, get that thing for the uh, soundtrack. So um, this is cute, very cute. Came from the set of Neighbours. <laughs> Nice copy of X's first record. How much that's, is that? That's, we've got a hundred on that now. So, oh, that's, uh, that's awesome record. It's classic. Personal favourite of mine, um, the Desert Sessions series. Um, these are no longer in print, all issued on 10 inch limited edition vinyl. All the original ones are coloured. These have been pirated quite heavily. But uh, these are original ones. Is that um, through Man's Ruins? Or? Through Man's Ruin, yep, yeah. Frank Kozak's label. So Kozak did the artwork. They're all pretty cool. So we've got all of them other than the first one. The first one is sort of the holy grail of the, the stone or rock scene, I guess. People are just going ballistic for them, but that's a little five inch record. One rock just on that side, three extortion on that side. But um, if you've got an auto return turntable, by the time you get the needle to there, it'll pop back. And the other interesting thing that's happening is uh, you have certain people bringing out their new albums. Uh, Chris Altman, local boy. Self-produced, self-released on his own label. Looks beautiful, sounds great, gatefold cover. And it's really nice to see that sort of thing. Look, I've got to admit, some things come in here. It's like, oh, we've got to have that. And they don't make their acts, but I'm better than I used to be. So if you're stuck for ideas on how to blow all your hard-earned cash, maybe take up the habit of a vinyl junkie. I did.